We want to create our first Hello World app in Flutter. As prerequisite for this video, make sure that you have Flutter and your IDE such as VS Code installed. If you want to learn more about how to install Flutter and set up your IDE, then check out the link in the description. Let's follow three simple steps in this video. First of all, we want to create our Flutter project. Then we want to create our Flutter app UI. And after it, we also want to run our Flutter app. Therefore, we get started in VS Code and here you click on View Command Palette. Then you need to type here inside Flutter New Project and you select here New Application Project. Secondly, you need to choose a project location. And thirdly, you need to type your project name in lowercase letters. Lastly, you press Enter and then your first Flutter project will be created. After some time, you will see that he has created a main.dart file within your library lib folder. And we want to remove all of this code and write our first Flutter application from scratch. Within this main.dart file, we can continue with a second step to create our Flutter app. Therefore, you type import material and choose flutter material.dart, which imports all predefined widgets created by the Flutter and Google team for you so that you have all the basic UI components to create a user interface with Flutter. After this, we create the main method, which is the entry point of your Flutter application. Inside of it, you can call then the method run app that displays all of our widgets on our phone screen. And here we define our first widget, the material app, which is generally used at the root of all of your Flutter apps. Inside of it, you can define the home page that is displayed initially if you open your Flutter app for the first time. Within this basic structure, we create then a text widget containing the two words, hello world. As the last step, we want to run our Flutter application. Therefore, we go to view command palette. And here inside, we type Flutter launch emulator and press enter. On macOS, you can press again enter to open up the iOS simulator. And on Windows and Linux, you need to create first of all your own Android emulator. Therefore, simply watch this installation video, which I have linked in the description of this video. After this, you can choose your emulator or simulator and press enter. And with this, a simulated Android or iOS phone will be launched on your computer. And lastly, you need to click here on this run icon in your editor. After some time, you will see that the Flutter app will be launched on your phone and it is also displaying then this text hello world in your application. To display your text inside of the center of your application, you simply go with the cursor to this widget text. And then you can click here on this icon on the left side and click on wrap with widget. And here we put then a material widget around. And with this material widget, you have now also here inside another property, which is color. And here you can basically choose then a color as a background color. And then you can click here on hot restart. And now you see that our screen has here a red background color, which you have defined here. And the text hello world is then here also displayed in the left side corner. And secondly, we also can center our text. Therefore go with the cursor again here to this text widget. And then you wrap here the center widget around. And then you can click here again on hot restart. And now you see that our text is here centered in our application. Furthermore, we also can set a style for our text. And therefore you have here a property which is called style. And then you define here your text style. And inside of it, you can then supply first of all the font size of this text. So I set it for example to 32. And secondly, you also can define here the color and I set it here to a white text color. After this, click again here on hot restart. And now you see that our text is here bigger and also has a text color of white. And by the way, if you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to my channel.